Good morning and welcome to a little day in my life vlog. I was not gonna vlog today, but then I got like this sudden urge to just get ready. And then I was like, well, I might as well vlog because I look somewhat presentable um, as I'm like in a pair of PJs. But um, <laughs> uh, I at least kind of did my hair and threw some makeup on just to feel a little bit better. I am embracing the pale this week. So I did not self tan. I needed a little something to make me feel better. Um, so yeah, anyways, welcome to the vlog. Uh, today I'm literally just cleaning my house and going to the gym and pretty much everything I normally do on a day in the life. And then uh, Michael and I are gonna have a little at home date night. So not really sure what that's gonna consist of, but I think we're gonna hop in the hot tub because we have not used the hot tub in a good, well, I guess we used it last month when we had guests, but other than that, like we haven't, we just haven't like gone in on a random night. So I think we're gonna do that tonight. My house currently looks terrible. So I need to deep clean. So we're gonna get started on that. And I just figured I would take you guys along, but welcome to the vlog. I am Becca, if you're new here, uh, if not, welcome back to the vlog. And let's just get into it because I really need to get started cleaning this house. This freaking deodorant, the Santal, Santal, whatever you call it, Bloom Solitaire deodorant. Um, it's kind of cool because it like has a twist top, do do do, and then it's like round like that. I don't know what that black thing is, probably a piece of lint. <laughs> but I have already, I literally have had this for less than a week and I've already gotten a compliment on it in the gym. <clears throat> Some girl was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. Like it's crazy for someone to tell you that you smell good while you're in the gym sweating and smelling gross. So I think it was this and I smell this on me like throughout the day. So. That's probably the number one product I'd recommend from Solitaire, surprisingly, because I wasn't even gonna get the deodorant, so I'm super glad that I did. Um, my skincare is just getting a little a little out of hand there. And I also but. got the Solitaire Un... It's all Solitaire, so I'm gonna stop saying that, but I got the uh, Replenishing Body Lotion Fragrance Free. I was gonna get the Santal Bloom of this too, but they didn't have it in stock. And I kind of like unscented lotion because I'm still a little obsessed with this one. The Eos uh, Vanilla Cashmere, this is like my favorite scent on earth. I also have the um, hand lotion in this and I get compliments literally every single time I use it at work. So I kind of mix the two of these and it's a nice little combo. As far as the shower products go, I got the Santal Bloom Body Wash, love this. And I actually really like this too. I've been really bad about using um, like body scrub that just haven't really prioritized it. And it's really important when you self tan to use an exfoliator on your body. So I like this a lot, the KP Body Smoother. And then the shampoo and conditioner, they're okay. Like I can't say that I'm obsessed, but I honestly only use them once uh, cause I don't wash my hair that often, but there, I just got the purple shampoo and the purple conditioner. And I would just expect them to like smell a lot better. I don't know, like they don't smell bad, but like they're not super potent smelling. And I like my shampoo to smell very potent because I only wash my hair like once or twice a week and so I need it to last. So still still unsure about this, but so far I can say that I'm a huge Saltair brand, Saltair lover. I'm waiting for the Pink Beach Body Oil to come out or to restock because everyone raves about that. So that's the next thing I plan on purchasing, but if y'all were looking for some good uh, skincare or some good like body care items, I definitely recommend and they're so cheap. Like I got all that stuff for probably $65, 70 bucks, and that's not bad for <laughs> all the things that I got. But uh, yeah, and then another thing, I feel like I haven't shared a lot of things on here. Like I've just kind of taken y'all through my days and stuff, but I need to start sharing more items because I, unfortunately for my bank account, I'm a shopaholic. And so this is another item that I have been obsessed with. It is the Alexa Echo, oh, she heard me. Um, echo show i think and i just love it for the bathroom because i will literally just tell her to like play a song or a playlist i don't know what that is i think that's mascara <laughs> um i will just tell her to like play a song for me while i'm in the shower and it's so freaking loud it's amazing so i'm a huge fan of this and i think it was only like 75 80 dollars. i have it linked on my amazon storefront but i'm telling y'all it is so freaking nice and fun and it makes getting ready in the morning so much easier and <laughs> more enjoyable. Uh, Cause I can watch like YouTube and Netflix and all the things on here, like when it takes me an hour to do my hair. So highly recommend getting an Amazon show for your bathroom if you are bougie like that. So as I said, my house is a mess. So bed is unmade still. That's okay. This is the coffee I was having. But this is the devotional that I'm reading this year. I actually read this last year too, but um, I think that she changes them up. 
uh, but it is a 365 day devotional. So I had the one from last year, got this one. And then I don't remember who I saw share about this, but I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. Um, 31 prayers for my husband. So it's like a 31 day, uh, prayer. It's a journal and a, um, and like a, okay. Well, you get the point. It's a journal and it's a prayer book. So every night or every morning I will read this for Michael and then actually got him one too. Um, the 31 prayers for my wife. So those are kind of a cute like little gift idea if you guys like maybe for Valentine's Day. I don't know if y'all are into that, but I just think these are really well written and just something easy and quick to read that really puts you in a good mindset. So can you get up? Come on. Good girl. Good I just say that trying to maintain an aesthetically pleasing home is very hard with you in it it's very hard she says no mom i am the aesthetic <laughs> no but really having these white bed sheets it's like a whole nother challenge with this little golden retriever that clearly thinks that she owns the entire house including the bed but um blankets are a lifesaver uh where so i have like a little bit of dirt here little bit there and I just washed these sheets probably five days ago but I will show y'all my little secret magic weapon I'm almost out of it um but I haven't used it on the sheets clearly because there's still stains uh but I probably will later on today I just don't really feel like doing it right now but I will show you guys pick this up quick. I will show you guys also these blankets are from gosh what is it from no I can't remember uh this place the styled collection I think it's like a boutique or this one's actually from the style collection the one in here is from uh, Sam's Club so fun little fact for you but here's a little glimpse of my mess of a house why do I have the dishwasher open I don't know um, but the oh here it is brought her this Folex I think I've actually showed this before it's I guess apparently for carpets, but I use it on everything. And actually while we're talking about it, I'm just gonna go spray it, because why not? Okay, so here are my stains, as you can clearly see. I'm just gonna spray them. I'm actually not even gonna touch them. I'm just gonna spray them. She's like, is it me, mom? Am I the problem? <laughs> okay, so stains are sprayed. Uh, I might end up having to rub them in a little later, we'll see, but I'm gonna turn the ceiling fan on so it'll dry quicker. And we'll report back. But I'm telling you all this Folex, you can get it on Amazon or at like Home Depot or Lowe's. Okay, but it's the fact that I just moved into this house nine months ago. When was that? April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January. Yeah, nine months ago. And I already want to redecorate everything that I bought. First of all, um, let's start with our outdoor furniture, which is literally falling apart because we did not um, treat it. So that's our bad. Like we didn't put... I don't know what's it called the stuff that you're supposed to put on outdoor furniture to like keep it from doing that um so yeah that's fun also my pillows have fallen over and a quick look at the fence she's beautiful she's not completely done yet but getting there um but all that to say i first of all changed out my curtains here and here they're folded over right now because michael needs to move my curtain rods up closer to the uh, ceiling. I want them to be like taller. Um, so I ordered curtains that were longer, but the problem is that they're too long right now. So I have them folded over. So that's the first change. And then I think I want to get another coffee bar. I think I'm over this. It's a little too farmhousey. And uh, yeah, so I think I want to get the black, like a black one with, uh, I don't know what it's called. I think it starts with the R, like rattan, rattan. You know what I'm talking about? Like with the little, like brown doors. I, if I can, if my editing skills are good enough, I will try to put a picture of what I'm talking about, what I want here. Secondly, my dining room table. I'm getting over it. I don't know what it is. Now I don't have my rug underneath here right now. So that definitely adds a good element to it. Um, but I have to clean my rugs today. So that's why they're all pulled up. I don't know, something just, something's just not striking me about this area anymore. I don't know what it is. I think I'm gonna start with this though. 
I think I'm going to um, post this on Marketplace and see if I can get some money for it or if somebody could just come pick it up and then I will order me a new coffee bar. So that's my predicament. I still like my living room though. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. I love my TV stand. I need to figure this out. A lot of that stuff is just like stuff that we already had from our apartment. So it's time for me to redecorate there. Um, but I love this chair, love my couch. I want to get a little teeny tiny uh, coffee table here. I think a black one would look good. I don't know, but we're figuring that out still. And the bedroom I'm really happy with right now, but there is, I will change. You're still laying in the bed. You're just a tired girl laying in the bed. I will change out these nightstands. And like I said, if I'm skilled enough, I will try to post a picture of what I'm thinking of getting for these. It's just, they're too small for the room. Like it's a big bed, it's big lamps, big vibes in here and a small little bedside table. So I'm gonna get new bedside tables and that yeah, right. Oh my gosh, I can't with her. Um, and ignore all my dirty clothes, I have to wash them. But I do really like this mirror. Like I'm a huge fan, I love it. But how many times can I change shirts in the morning? I don't know, but this is my new White Fox sweatshirt. Um, obviously I have ADHD because that's not even what I came over here to talk about. But I want to get the anthropology mirror, but I'm waiting until it goes on sale. Um, probably next like Thanksgiving, what's it called? Black Friday. I will get that and I'll move this somewhere else in the house. But I do love this mirror. That's, those are just my thoughts. <laughs> but I am gonna tackle this atrocious, terrible kitchen. I also, we ordered a new trash can cause this is supposed to be one of those like automatic ones, right? Uh, but it broke. So we got a bigger one and a good stainless steel one. So hopefully that will come, I think today or tomorrow. But yeah, let's go ahead and clean up this kitchen. Can we just talk about how freaking clean and organized my little spice cabinet is right now? I've had this organizer for literally since we moved into our like second apartment together and we've we've lived in a lot of apartments, um, but I love it. And it just organizes all the spices so well. And then this looks kind of random up here, but um, just have like a little sauce catcher and my lovely little lazy susan i got from aldi they are the best for like well right now like during the like between christmas and springtime when everybody's organizing their house they have all these really nice acrylic organizers for cheap so highly recommend that but i'm just so proud of how my little spice cabinet looks close till I get up. Time is barely on our side i don't want to waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left so 
such just invigorating information, but I just want to show y'all what I mop with. So I used to use this method squirt and mop and I would just buy like these basically because I love the dispenser on it. I could just like spray it and mop, but I just started refilling it with like whatever I want. That way it's less expensive and less waste or whatever. So I just use a little bit of vinegar. I'm not really sure the parts. I just kind of eyeball it. And then a little bit of this Mr. Clean multi-surface cleaner. Um, it's just so hard because like I don't know what the heck you're supposed to use on laminate flooring. I mean, I feel like it does a pretty good job. I could probably find better out there. So if y'all have like something super revolutionary that you clean your laminate floors with, please let me know. But this does the trick for now. And then I use my trusty dusty shark vacuum, which I need to, or shark, um, what's it called? Shark mop, steam mop. So. Uh, I probably need to invest in a new one of these because I've had this for ages and it's just, it's done me so well. So let's get to mop. Okay, my phone's literally on 2%. So let's see if I can even record this clip. But I wanted to show y'all the update of the Folex. Still a little bit right there, but it is seriously like a miracle worker. So get you some Folex if you have white sheets like me. Hey okay, y'all, I've officially cleaned the house. Only things I have not done, sorry my jar is like draining right now, or my washer's draining. Um, the only things, the only things I have not done are cleaning the rugs, so like shampooing them, which is like just a whole task in itself. So I'm waiting probably until I get back from the gym and then folding laundry, which is like, always push that to the very last thing so I could just tuck it away in the guest bedroom and nobody will ever know but the house is clean so we got that going for us um dinner is on the crock pot so feeling very accomplished there still working on the second uh water I'm gonna try to finish this before I leave the house but I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the gym maybe we'll get a good workout in come back hopefully we'll be more motivated to do the uh the clothes Gracie probably needs a quick play first. So I think I'm gonna go out to the yard and throw to her um, and then we'll get ready for the gym. That much. I just really don't understand how I manage to forget my sunglasses every single day that it's sunny, but then I'll bring them with me when it's cloudy and raining. So that's my predicament right now. <laughs> um, but I'm on the way to the gym. So let's get a good workout in. I had my little peanut butter banana toast. That was delicious. Uh, I'm about to start sipping on my pre-workout. I live about 25 minutes away from my gym. So I won't start drinking this until like, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes before I get there. So that I'm not like bouncing off the walls of my car. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go get a good lift in. Still not too entirely sure what it's going to entail. And I hate going into the gym without a plan, but I'm in a good mood today. I feel like it's gonna be a good lift no matter what. So we're gonna get it done. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So head to the gym, catch up with y'all after. All right guys, I just got out the gym. And the reason why I look like such a mess. We got the trash can in. So excited. All right, let's open her up. So here's the laundry I gotta put away, all in this basket, and then plus my socks, but I keep my scrubs in the guest bedroom, so minus those, I have no idea how I fit all of this in that little clothes basket. I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and just, while I have the energy, reorganize my drawers, because they are not looking too hot right now. Oof, they're not looking good. Michael's probably honestly looks better than mine. Let's take a look. Nothing in there, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing, he has like no clothes and then all his like sweatpants. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna organize all this. All right, and here is the after. Not to show you all my underwear and stuff, but that looks so much better. And then leggings, shorts, workout tops, etc. And I think I've got a couple more things like hanging on the drying rack in the laundry room, but that looks so much better. Michael's drawers look better. Now that they actually have clothes in them. So that was a nice accomplishment. The only thing I did not do was clean my rugs today, but that's okay. I can do that tomorrow morning before going into work. But yeah, it was a very successful cleaning day for sure. I think I just heard Michael pull in, so 
Probably gonna make him a little something since this won't be ready till seven. Okay, I'm just sitting here. Okay, I'm just sitting here, actually like sitting down for five seconds. Michael got home, he's in the shower. We had a little snack. I had some edamame and then some tomato, cherry tomatoes dipped in green goddess dressing. It was so good. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we are just waiting on the roast to be done. That'll probably be done in about an hour or so. I'll let y'all know how that is. I think it's gonna turn out good. Gracie has a fuzz on the corner of her mouth. Gracie, you got no something in your mouth. She freaking loves this little toy. I have it linked on my Amazon, but it's a, she done tore the fluff out of it. We're trying to get her not to chew this one up, but she loves it. She carries it everywhere. It's a, um, a, uh, what are they called like love buddies or something and it has heartbeats in it and we got the one with the double heartbeat she's obsessed um it's just like these little like things that you click and the heartbeats in them so it's nice it's supposed to like help relieve their anxiety and stuff so she loves that if we could just get her to not tear it up that'd be great um but yeah i'm just tired because y'all have seen that i've been just getting it today which is good i love staying busy on my days off because then it makes not makes the time go by faster, but like, I just hate being home alone, even though I'm home alone a lot. So it just makes the time go by faster for when Michael gets off work and we can hang out. So evenings are definitely my fave. Um, but yeah, so we shall see what the night has in store. Like I said, we're probably gonna get in the hot tub later. So you go out there and check, make sure everything is like well balanced and stuff. I don't need to add any chemicals to it. Um, yeah, I guess that's all we're doing. All right, I forgot to update. We've already crushed, but first of all, there's so much left over. It is so freaking good. I got the recipe on Pinterest. Just look up low sodium um, pot roast recipe, and that's what I did, and it's so freaking good. Um, but yeah, now we're gonna go hop in the hot tub. Hot tub in.